So in this interview, we're just going to have you sit down and answer a few questions regarding the new Lil Baby album, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and you're just going to give us your take, okay? All right. So Lil Baby, my turn. Is it good? A steaming pile of shit. I thought it was pure motivation. Uh, I mean, honestly, this is easily one of the best records I've heard this year. It completely embodies the thought and experience of pure tunnel vision. Listen, do you, listen, do you get bitches? Do you get bitches? Oh, I, I, I don't need them. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll jack it to Jay Z. I, 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 I don't know. There's really like no, no pleasing me with Lil Baby. He's, he's mid average at best. He brings nothing new to the table. A young thug clone still to me. The producers want to know, why do you have your face covered? Uh, I, I don't think it's uh, safe or, or intelligent for me to go out as a little baby fan uh, publicly. Uh, they're also notorious for not washing underneath their fingernails. So, you know, coronavirus and everything, I just don't think it's a good. Where, where, where are the bars? Where, where is the, where is the double entendres? Uh, who are your favorite rappers uh, then? Matt Kami, uh, fucking Griselda. All my beats need to be produced from Alchemist. What did you expect from Lil Baby on this album? Honestly, I didn't expect much, you know? Um, Lil Baby's done what Lil Baby's done, you know? He's Young Thug's protege. Uh, I don't really expect too much in the way of a concept or lyricism. But at the end of the day, I mean, I get bitches, so it's it's really it's really for the vibes. Who do you think won't enjoy this album? Lames, you know? It's for people that go outside. It's for people that have a good time, have fun. Uh, you don't really need to think too deeply about it. It's it's a simple record. It's 20 tracks. Could it be shortened? Sure, but I mean, it's all a vibe. It's a wave. How often do you find yourself listening to this album? All the time. Like, like bro, do you get bitches? What does that have to do with what I just asked? Exactly. I'm con what does that prove? He sounds the same for most of the record, okay? No, no variation, no changes, no difference in subject matter, no difference in content. I can't go outside, play this shit, and be respected. I, I, I heard his fans don't even wash under their fingernail. One of our guests told us that the album was extremely repetitive. Of course it's repetitive. That's why you listen to it while you're in the gym. You don't go to this album expecting anything beyond what little baby's already given you. Okay, when you're in the gym, you're, you're busting out reps, you're not gonna stop doing your sets because they're repetitive, because you know you need to make these gains. Okay, sex is repetitive, that don't stop people from enjoying the shit. Tell you man, when I was busting those reps out in the gym, it was easy busting out 415 on bench press, because like, dude was just whispering in my ear sweet nothings. All I wanted to hear was bro talk about his journey, right? It's tunnel vision, the kind of tunnel vision that comes straight out of your asshole. You're not gonna switch up the plan while you're on your way to success, are you? No, you're gonna have tunnel vision. Of course the same thing's gonna come up more than a few times. That's what your focus is. When you finally get it, you you made it. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't, I, I, I don't. Dude's following the path of a future, of a young thug, doing the same trap shit, not, not, not following it up, not changing the style of it in any way. His flow is shit. His flow is like fucking motivational, bro. Like, he comes in with a flow that encourages you to keep going. I'm not really focused on what he's saying, but- Are you, are you okay? Are you okay? Someone, someone oh, get him some water. Get him some water, get him some water. Him some water. Him some water. Come here, give him, no, give, no, give no. him the thing. Thank you. Are you okay now? I feel like his flow on this album, along with the subject matter and the content, literally is based in your ability to keep going. Like the dude does not stop. There are moments on the album where he sounds like shit. And I tell you, it's the perfect motivation for somebody that's in the gym, that's that has tunnel vision, that's focused. You might not be focused on the same thing that a little baby is focused on, but you have a goal of your own. You have your own dreams. And when you see a dude just constantly going, like no obstacles in his way, nothing to stop him, it encourages you to do the exact same thing no matter what you're doing. Listening to Lil Baby's jewelry make noise is more more entertaining than hearing him rap. My turn totes a lot of features. How do you feel about him? Love him. How many? All of them. Future didn't outperform him. Wayne, I'm disappointed in. Lil Uzi is trash. Why is uh, Lil Uzi trash? He's like 5'5". Five five. What does that have to do with- Even Money Bag Yo's no jaw having ass is, is a great feature. The back and forth that him and Lil Baby have on that one track is fucking phenomenal. It's like they're passing a rock to each other waiting for the next one to alley-oop it. It's, it's amazing. The way Lil Baby rode the track with Future, 
is like running on a treadmill. With the content he makes, do you think he has much longevity? Bro, like longevity and, and ability are different things, bro. Like, of course we can't speak to the longevity of anybody in the music game. I mean, everybody's dropping like flies out here, number one. But the ability to get to that level is a, a, it's an amount of work that most people can't even achieve. You, you can't even realize it. And bro can rap. He literally straddles the beat like a fucking dildo. Like, it's crazy. No pause on that? No pause. I think they need to turn Lil Baby into Lil Fetus and abort him because his, his music is just so unnecessary. I don't think he should have. I didn't need it. This didn't need to be brought into the world. It's 20 tracks longer than some feature films like what the fuck 2.0 gpa niggas having a field day with this one i can already tell is there anyone you would recommend this album to yes all you friendless loners who don't go outside who are always stuck and cooped up in your house that don't have anything better to do in life but sit up here and hate on a young man's rise and success and and and, and stardom all you bitch niggas out there, this is for you. I'm sorry, wouldn't that technically make you a, a bitch nigga? Like, no, I don't, I I'm didn't, not, no, I was, no, I don't, I don't. Niggas who stink, uh, people who wipe front to back. What would you do if you saw someone you knew hating this album? Well, I slapped the shit out of him. I would, I slapped the shit out of that man. What would you do if you saw someone you knew loving this album? In my house? I don't know what I'd do, man. We'll cross that road when we get there, huh? Come on, yeah, yeah. Is that you? No. Is that you? No. Are you listening to the new little baby album? No. Oh, are you listening to the new baby album? No, I promise I'm not, I'm not on Twitter. No. Is that no? Coke? No, no, I swear it's not. It's not. No. You're out of the house. Huh? You're out of the house. Me and this dope, she don't know which one go, just be standing, she shit, but I'm buying them both. We on Rodeo, the rug out is here.